Hello everyone, um, we're here at Volcano Brewing Company up the hill in Tamarindo right near the gym. Um, right now we have some ping pong, we have the sushi night, uh, we have the half, so if you want to come skate, have a fun time with us, just stop by. Um, we have the $3 pints and sushi night again, so if you're in town, just join us here at Volcano Brewing Company. Hey Sarah, how are you doing today? Hey Joe, what's up? Uh, just chilling here, nice uh, Saturday afternoon at Volcano Brewing Company and uh, getting ready to watch a little ping pong action. That's right. Right now, uh, I think they're just warming up. But in about a minute, we're going to have the score on the screen. That's right. So if you're in Tamarindo and you want to bring your ping pong skills literally to the table, you should get down here or up here. I guess up here. <laughs> we're at the top of the hill in Tamarindo. Yeah, and, right. uh, and also we've got sushi. Yeah, we got sushi night. We have $3 pints from our local house craft beer. Yeah, uh, and we're going to be doing that every weekend, every Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and every day of the week, the brewery's open from 4 o'clock till 10 o'clock. And uh, yeah, every Saturday and Sunday is sushi now, so that's a good change. So if you're in town, come by, get some sushi. If you know how to skate, we've got the half pipe. Break a leg. Actually, don't. <laughs> don't break a leg. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and really, it's all about ping pong and sushi fest here at Volcano Brewing Company. Here we are uh, behind the bar of the Volcano Brewing Company with Nikki, the original brewmaster. Um, Nikki, can you explain a little bit about the beer here? Okay, yeah, for sure. We've got uh, four styles of beer that we have here at Volcano Brewing Company. Um, if we start down the line, what I'm going to do is we're going to work our way from our sort of like our lightest beer, which is our Magdalena, which is our newest brew. That is a blonde ale, a beach beer type of uh, style, which is very easy drinking. That's it at four percent alcohol. Okay, that stuff is really refreshing on the beach. And then we've got our dark ale, the gas. Uh, this changed styles over the years, but it's basically a, a, like a darker brown ale, and that is uh, running at like a 4.7%. It's getting a little light in alcohol, but really, really, really tasty. And then we have the original one, which is the Witch's Rock Pale Ale. That's traditionally brewed uh, English Pale Ale, and that's at 5%. And then uh, right here, we have the Witch's Rock IPA, that's a 6%. It is a uh, classic uh, West Coast IPA. Uh, it's very, very, very tasty. It's my personal favorite. And uh, yeah, just love it. Thank you so much, Nikki. So we're going to see you in a bit to ask you a couple more questions about the brewery. And maybe we can do a tasting later on today. Here we are at Volcano Brewing Company, getting ready for a little ping pong action. If you're in Tamarindo, definitely come by the brewery. Ping pong and sushi fest all day long, today and tomorrow. And sushi every weekend, every Saturday and Sunday from 4 to 10. Here at Volcano Brewing Company, the brewery, the back end of town. The locals know where we're at. Everyone else, you might get lost. Okay, so right now we're gonna start a really important game. Um, we have Joseph and Tony, and they're playing right now. Uh, first one with a score. The game. Point.
I don't know about you, Sarah. I'm having a hard time keeping track. These guys are playing fast. I think we're at 2-1. Tony? Tony makes a good serve. Joseph was unable to return it. Oh, we got two in a row there. I'm pretty sure Tony has at least four. <laughs> really hard to keep track here. Oh, they're going, they're going real oh. fast. Oh, off the glasses. That was a good shot there. Cinco uno, five one. Cinco uno. They wanted you to play five. Joseph, Tony, single. Tony has five. Joseph has one. All right, there we go. Looks like Tony's pulling ahead here, Sarah. You can see that. I think um, very close match, right? No, five one. Six two. Six two. Oh my god. Oh, it's going real fast. Yeah, right? <laughs> really hard to keep track of the ball. 12 to 8. 12 to 8? Yeah. Oh, 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 okay, so we've already lost track here. And how many beers have we had today so far? We haven't even started drinking yet, I don't think. Nueve cuatro. Tony tiene nueve. Joseph Tiene Cuatro. Cuatro. Now it looks like Tony's pulling ahead here. Oh. Hmm? Ten to five. All right. You know, if I was a betting man, Sarah, I'd probably bet on Tony in this match. Although, you know, Joseph won the last one. Things I don't know. Joseph is... I don't know. Joseph is trying to, um, he's, he's, to he's match coming closer. Tony right here. Once is, once is seis. Uh, once is seis. Tony's got the serve. Oh, and that's a fault. We get another try here. Oh, we're playing different roles. 11 to 7. Eleven to eight, so yeah, Joseph is definitely trying to keep up with Tony right here. So, <laughs> told you. I, I can see that uh, Tony and Joseph are playing speed pong. Oh, look at this! And all of a sudden, we've got a one-point match here, sir. Oh boy. Twelve to eleven. Action packed, Sarah. Action packed. <laughs> 14 to 11. Okay, 15 to 13. Oh man. This is, yeah, it is hard to keep track. 15, 12. So, um,. Yeah, well, you know what? It's really hard when you're in a brewery and people are drinking beers and uh, you're trying to watch this little white ball fly back and forth. Oh, Tony's pulled ahead here. But we're playing to 21 now and you've got to win by two. Ooh, that was close. Very close, Joseph. Point for Joseph here. Okay. Not sure if Joseph is adding points every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> it's going really fast. This is, a, this is a close match right now. Definitely. Ooh, Tony's pulling ahead. Three more points, and Tony's gonna gonna grab this. Ooh, I think we've got Bentia Catorce. This is game point here, but this is where everything can go backwards. Tony could just hit the net. Oh, it's not going to happen. Tony pulls away. He's the winner. All right. Congratulations, Tony. Go, go, go. <laughs> Congratulations, Tony, on this win. Now we have Christina. Okay. Christina against Tony. Um, Christina.
Okay, Sarah, looks like we've got another match. This time, Tony's facing off against Christina. Another ping pong veteran ready to show us how it's done. I believe we're at 0-0 right now. Christina's looking strong. I think she brings some fresh energy. Of course, Tony here just slayed the last match. Let's see what happens. Let's go, Christina. Girl power here. Oof. That was a little fast. I think I, I think that was clocked in at over 100 miles an hour, that last hit. <laughs> All right, so Tony, 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 Tony's got the first point on the board. It's a long way till 21, though. Ooh, unfair. Gonna have to take it, though. I think Christina's got a trick up her sleeve or two. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one here. Volcano Brewing Company in Tamarindo. Come by, it's a ping pong and sushi fest. One two. It's two to one. It did, exactly. Oh, really? All right, all right. Well, you know what? Well, if you win, then I'll get to play you next. I think we're at two one right now. Well, you tell me. Two to one. Oh, two to zero. Sorry, Christina. We're taking one off the board here. Not quite yet, but I know you will. Ooh, that was a tight, nice little hit there. Oh, you're right, it is 3-3. Up with Christina, Christina here. all of a sudden is pulling ahead. <laughs> Notice a couple nice little uh, corner shots there. Hitting on the what? Hitting on the paint. I think it's called. Is that, is that what it's called? I really don't know. I don't know either. Whoa. Oh. Look at that. Four, six. Six, four, four, Christina six. leading over Tony. Round two of the Volcano Brewing Company Ping Pong Fest here. Saturday, July 4th. Point for Tony. Point for Christina. No, that, I think that was Tony's point. I was, I was trying to figure out what beer I was going to order, Sarah. I'll be honest. I was looking away for a quick moment. It's very fast. You have, you have to pay attention here. Let me ask Christina. Oh, yeah, 7-4. Uh -oh. I think a fight might break out here. Nope, we're good. We're good. 7-4. Ooh, we got some serious pong going on here. Oh. Some very serious pong. Five seven. Okay. Ooh, Christina! Wow, that was uh -oh. an amazing shot from Christina. Very aggressive player right here. Seven seven. Seven seven. We're all tied up here, folks. It's a nail biter. Watch some very quality ping pong. Oh, oh my oh. goodness, that was a kill. Christina pulls ahead with 8 7 lead. This is such an exciting game, right, Joe? Very exciting. Let's, let's go to the overhead cam here, the ping, the, the pong cam. Look, just like that. What of you? Well, Sarah, I don't know the last time I saw a game this tight. Maybe it's been at least 15 minutes, maybe even longer. Right. Christina is super aggressive player. Seriously, can, I, she came on right all here. like soft, and yeah. now we're watching her pull ahead, and I, there's a lot of action going on here. That's right. The warm up was just a warm up, but we have a score. I believe it's 12-7, or it's 11-8. Ooh, 13-7. We're gonna go ahead and just let Christina tell. Ooh, I think it's 14-7. Here we are. I'm telling you, this is. We better watch the rest of this match because it's going fast, Sarah. 15-7. All right, Tony's bringing the serve here. He's got to come from behind. Don't know what's going to happen right now, though. I'm, 
I'm afraid to actually get up there and play against Christina after watching this, Sarah. I think I might. I'm definitely not going. Uh, really? No. One of us has to no get in the way. get in the ring, so to speak. It's either that I'm not or we go. Not a very good ping pong player, Joe. So I think Christina would beat me. Maybe go for sure. And she has a fan. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're playing a 21 today. Oh, Tony is only down by eight points. I've seen bigger comebacks, Sarah. I've seen this happen before. You get comfortable and all of a sudden the other player just, but you know, Christina does look strong. Christina is definitely an aggressive player again. I, she's gonna teach me how to play ping pong though. I think it's, is it 1911? 1911, oh my God. We're just a couple points away from Christina's win. Oh, that was so close. Okay, and now it looks like it's game point. Oh boy, oh. and just like that, Christina. Well, congratulations, Christina, yay. How's it feel, Christina? The, uh, the champion of round two. <laughs> it's like Joseph's back in the game, though. He wants more. Now it's Joseph again against Christina. Here it's the score, Joseph and Christina. Two one. Christina now is heading the game. She's two two. Oh, that was a killer shot there by Christina nice, pulling ahead. Three. To Big fun. I'm right getting here. very afraid of, of having to play against her later on today. Christina, any, any tips on how to? Uh, we're not gonna, no. we're not gonna bother her during this match. It is three to three. You guys are tied up. Three three. Four three. Now Joseph is leading this game. Did we lose the ball? Kid cam. Joseph has five. Six three. Oh look, we've got Nikki here. Nikki in the house. Nikki, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. Very well. I'm just uh, intrigued by this multi-camera angle, like uh, sports network that's going on right now. This is the Beer Sports Network, brought to you by Witches Rock, at Volcano Brewing Company, and Tamarindo. What score we got? I lost that. Okay. Oh, just okay. So I wasn't far off. Six four. Joseph's pulled ahead on this one. We're yeah, up here. Oh yeah, he's really uh, he's wiping the table clean. Yeah, literally. Yeah, you know what? If you're in Tamarindo, come down because we've got cold beer, three dollar pints, we've got ping pong fest, and we've got sushi all day Saturday and Sunday here in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. And if you're not here, then just hang out with us on Facebook. Tell your friends. We're gonna be doing uh, sushi every weekend, every Saturday and Sunday, and uh, we're gonna be having a serious ping pong tournament coming up here in a few weeks. We're still in the planning stages but definitely if you got any game get down here and show us what you got yeah i've been i've been training every day every single no i haven't no you haven't no i, haven't. No, I know you haven't no i know Good. i don't i don't need to train <laughs> you're going down oscar um okay I've lot, i'm behind on my scores here okay where are we at now i gotta get back nine. Oh, you're oh, nine. Nine, seven. Nine, seven. Oh, 
Okay, so we're at nine to seven. Ten seven, Joseph. Oh, some 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 great shots going on here. Wouldn't you agree, sir? Does that mean no? Yeah, sorry, I was a little bit distracted here. It's really hard. And they're playing really fast. Okay. My professional opinion, I believe that. Uh, no, I don't have a professional opinion. Ooh. I don't think. Yeah. That 13 to 8, Joseph's serving it up. Ooh. Okay. Just, don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Um, oh. I've, only, I've only just noticed there's a jog. I, I've only just seen it because of the, the Highline camera. I had a bit of a, and like a, I was like, what is that in the brewery? That's um, Christina, Christina's little cheerleader. What is it? The dog. I know it's a dog. Not, not quite sure, Mickey. Is that Pomeranian? Looks like a... Okay, so wait a minute. Set. Okay, just getting cut up here. We Oh my goodness. Christina's, Christina's in the double digits. You're past it. We got 17 11. She's not giving up at all. Nikki, how do you even read? How, how, how do I even read? No, no. How, do you, how do you even respond to some of these serves? I feel like, I feel like they're playing double speed. Is it, is, it, is it me? Are they really playing double speed? Double speed. I think they're going quite fast. Um, I'm just, I mean, Totally blown up. Oh, he just brought it to the edge of the table. Oh, he went for the overhand smash, but um, unfortunately hit the net. 18. Oh. 19, 12. Oh. Get the puzzled look from Christina. She's, oh, she's gonna, she's gonna come back. I got a feeling that th this is the underdog here. 19, 13. 19, 13. And Joseph is leading the game, right? I got 13, 19 right now. That's where we're at. I did not go to ping pong school though. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I've seen bigger comebacks, Sarah. No, right? Match point here. Fine. Ooh, but I think Joseph just pulled away with the win. Congratulations, Joseph. You are the winner of round two. I find that um, Joseph's style is very much uh, kind of like, press, uh, like very much like pressure on the net there. I feel like you know uh, Christina could take it back a little bit and uh, try to uh, win it that way next time. But um, I'm very excited to see this next round. I don't know the other guy's name, but uh, Joseph right now is in the lead. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, it's really hard to do two things at once. Now I've got to reset the score and get ready for this next match because we've got Joseph and Tony getting ready for a rematch. Tony's a good name for a ping pong. You player. know, the last time they played, it was a bloodbath to the very end. It was very close, very uh, close, yes. I'll so get, I'll get the first idea. Yeah, last not. time Tony was winning and then Joseph did an amazing comeback. All right, Joseph, Tony. All right, we're in round three of this ping pong fest here. It's zero zero, Joseph versus Tony, and we're off. I'm gonna head over to Christina Joe and do a little interview about how she felt about the last game. Sounds like a wonderful plan. Perfect. Hello, Christina. <laughs> how are you, Sarah? My name is Sarah. The scores quickly change in this game.
gridlock, you say? Tony, Tony, ¿qué tenemos? Siete tres. Okay, siete tres. Joseph's over Tony. Who knows for how long? We might need to call the fire brigade. Tony is on fire right now. Actually, no, it's Joseph who's on fire. On the other I side of the fire, table like, Tony, here. I think Tony's gonna just bring it up. That last shot was unbelievable. That one was not. Though. Come on, Tony, you can do it. <laughs> Another great overhand slice from Tony there. He's putting a lot of pressure on his serve. Ah, played it a little, little, little long. Okay. So it looks like I'm like really bad at keeping up with these guys here. It's alright, it's a, it's a quick fire round right now. It's a quick fire round. That one went into the brewery. Have okay. you got your boots on there? I think you should uh, maybe get an extra point if you do that. If it lands like right in the fermenter. If it lands in the fermenter, we've got some problems. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> secret recipe. Oh man, hold on. 14-7, just like that, Nikki. Man, I'm feeling like I'm gonna have to, I don't know, really, really stretch, you know, before I get in there. These guys are just, I think they're a league above. What is the most important muscle to stretch before ping pong is my, my big question. <laughs> really? As an amateur, I mean, what is the biggest muscle you can stretch to, uh, before you play ping pong? I don't know. I mean, because whatever, whatever, whatever it is, I should ask Joseph because he's uh, he's he's running away with it right now. Seventeen seven. He's ten points in the lead. Ah, oh, he just hit the net again like a salmon trying to raise out of being caught. But there we are. Oh. I, I've already lost track of the score again, Nikki. Nineteen what? No way. How could that be? Really? Okay. That was, that was another perfect okay. pint poured from Oscar there. It was a wonderfully handed over there over the bar. Oh my goodness. We gotta tune into this game again. What we thought was a runaway. Ooh, okay, we got one more. Point. This is game point. Oh. Can Tony hold on to it? He's got these little. Oh, oh and Joseph. unfortunately, and Joseph has We've brought the cup home. <laughs> Hopefully, that cup is filled with IPA there, Joseph. So now we're gonna get another game here. We're round four of the ping pong tournament and we're looking at Christina. She's back in it. Tony's out. She's using, she's using music as a question. No, and I was, uh, I was there talking to Christina um, like around about five minutes ago. She told me that's her lucky side. So probably she's gonna be even more aggressive than she was before. And we're on the board here. Zero, zero, Joseph and Christine. Let's see what, this is Christina, let's see what they got. First blood has been drawn. Christina is. Oh, this is oh Ooh. unfortunate. I feel like this might be the best game. Yeah, I don't. It's just started, Nikki. It's hard to say. But I have a feeling like it could be. I, just, I, just, I feel there's a lot of nerves going on right now. A lot of nerves. So hopefully they can just like you know. They'll, Two they'll one. One one. They think when you hit the ball off this. 
Let, 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 let's get over here. Let's discuss oh, this. Oh, hang on a minute. We need a. We okay. have a, like a. All I right. think we need. My uh, first serve goes off the table. Is it a fault or is it a point? You know, if the first serve does not hit the table, the way that I play is that you've lost the serve. You've lost yeah, a point. If you hit the net on your serve and it still goes over, that would be a fault, right. and you get a second chance. You do it twice on the serve, and you lose the point. You hit it on the serve and it goes off the table, then you lost that point. But but you know what? I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> you hit a little ball with a little paddle, and then it's up to you whether you hit it with the red side or the black side. I guess I don't know. Is there is there is there actually a reason why there's a red side and back side? Is it like for different speeds or texture? Uh, oh, of the paddle. Yeah, that's a very interesting question, Nikki. Uh, you know, it dates back to the 1700s. Actually, very interesting story. Um. Yeah, I'm listening. I like history. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea. I think uh, that might be a question for Oscar. Oscar, uh, he looks he, pretty busy he's, serving he's, beers he, right yeah, now. Yeah, he's uh, he's changing a keg right now. And, and let's talk about Oscar for a minute. He was on the Costa Rica national ping pong team as a, as, a, as a as a youth, so he's really the guy to beat at the brewery. Yeah, he, I, he's not even taking he's not even taking games today. He won't even play. No, he's well, he's obviously uh, he's, all uh, he's a brewmaster, bartender, star tender, yeah, and yeah. Uh, everything that's going on Saturday night on our busiest night. But like, we'll we'll make sure that we'll uh, rectify that and we'll get him to warm up his paddle, I guess, as you say. Oh, but Chris, you know where we at? Four three. Huh? Three. Four three. All right. Okay, we actually got a pretty tight game going on right here. Ooh, look at this! A little spin on that. I think I saw a little backspin coming from Christina at the back corner there. Ooh, she's definitely got some spin on that. Oh, and you know what? The We've little got another kid, ball the, in the, the brewery. The little kid ran by, and you know that's just one of the things you have to deal with playing ping pong at the brewery. I believe it's six three, Nikki. I think that's the new score. Ooh, look, that's, you know, that's a very nice gesture. We're going back to 5-3 because interference with... with <laughs> Christine's waiting for focused. a moment. She's very focused. Ooh, that was right on the edge of the table. Ooh, oh, I thought that was going... Oh, well, there is, there is some spin. You're correct. Oh! Congratulations, Joseph, on Joseph such a wonderful return. Pulls within a point on that one. I thought she was going to smash it out. We're going to have to call Stephen Hawkins to figure out where it was in the universe. Are we, are we, oh, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm watching like a replay. I've got Carver walking past and Christina's watching him with an eagle eye. That's because we got a little bit of delay between live and what's on Facebook. It's almost like our very own replay. <laughs> <laughs> but just for you and I, and Sarah. No one else gets to see this. Oh, I think she overcooked that. She went into that last shot with a lot of confidence. Yeah. ¿Qué tenemos? Oh man, so Joseph tiene ocho, y Cristina tiene siete, just like that. Before you know it, the ch tenemos Joseph, Joseph con ocho y Cristina con siete. Okay. Oh man. And we've got a tied game here, folks. 8-8 eight, eight, from Volcano Brewing Company, Tamarino, Costa Rica. Beer Sports Network. Brought to you by Witches Rock. If you're here in Tamarino, stop by. We've got $3 pints. We've got sushi all weekend long. And we are blowing up the ping pong table. Bring your game. Even if you don't have game, just, just, just come anyways. Just bring it. When it comes to ping pong, I don't have much game, but it's all right. Oh! Joseph is piling on the pressure right now. But Christina is nine, literally nine, like nine. just serving a comeback right it's now. One for one, Nikki. Well, she's got this great backhand. Ooh. Very nice. I know. Don't even. I don't even know where you acquire skills like that, Nikki. Arkansas <laughs> is where I heard they've got a really wonderful ping pong team. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. 
Oh, yeah. Christina pulling ahead. 11 10. Just like that. Thirteen twelve, Christina's in the lead, but not by much. Ooh, look at that. Thank you very much, Oscar. Cheers, Nikki. Cheers. Fine IPAs here at Volcano Brewing Company. Watching this intense ping pong match. So I'm not even gonna talk until I've had my first sip. So Joseph Kenny Katorsi at Trinse? Okay. You know, this keeps going back and forth, Nikki. You know, Christina's ahead, then Joseph's ahead. I feel like you turn your head for one moment and things just change. All of a sudden, Joseph is the man to beat. Well, he's been the man to beat for the last three matches, I think. Um. Perfecto. 17 13. Bloody Joseph, hell. Joseph's closing in on the match. Bloody hell, here, Joseph. You know this what? is just. Christina doesn't give up easily, and I've seen her come from behind. She's. A, they're both very skilled ping pong players, Nikki. Yeah. I got her. She, she's got her. She's got her focus. I got her. She's just. She has some definitely aggressive shots, right? Yeah. Definitely. I know, but like it's yeah. all about uh, consistency. And, yep. You know. Yeah, you know. Sometimes. I've had my moments of glory, but soon they've been ruined by my looking at squirrels and butterflies. Which happened often in a brewery, sorry. 18-13. Oh, it, it, so close! Yeah. Joseph just seems to be able just to find these little spots on the table, just on the very edge. And all of a sudden, just like that, it's match point, 2013. Ah, oh. and it's all over. Christina throws her paddle down in frustration. It's hurting her. Um... It's all good. There was like fist bumps afterwards. That's fine. It's all about sportsmanship. It looks like he's out for a rematch here, Nikki. You can see Patriot going. What's going on right there? Uh, 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to all you. Uh, has, um, Joseph has won already in a row. Uh, this would be you know, uh, the third three, one? This is the third one yeah. in a row, yeah. You should make it a fourth for the happy 4th of July. Oh, just like that. You I just want to say happy 4th of July to all you, uh, Scott, Tony, uh, just guys from the US from a British person. Let me see, let you know. We got 1-1 one, one here. So earlier, Joe and I were talking about how aggressive Christina was. And Joe was telling that he didn't want to go and play against Christina. Yeah, no, I don't think I want to play against any of them, Sarah. I know, right? Oh, I don't know. I've seen you play. I think you can hold your own. All right. Well, I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance. These guys are uh, just like taking turns playing high-level ping pong. I think I might just want to sit today out. Looks like you know. Looks like I have to get some real exercise. It's not the Joseph Walsh, I know. Okay. All right. You're right. You're right. I'm I feel like you see how it's easy to twist his arm like straight away. <laughs> just say like a little bit of a compliment. <laughs> it's just like it's in there. It's in there like swimwear. All right. We got five two, just like that. Five two. Joseph over Tony in round four of this ping pong Saturday, 4th of July, Terramuno, Costa Rica, sitting here at Volcano Brewing Company with my good friends, Nikki Hearn and Sarah Vargas, watching some pong. Come on, Tony, if you win this, I'm going to call you Tony the Tiger forever. You can do it. Don't let it. Oh, just clip the net here. There's a very short, close game these guys are playing. Quick round. Oh, look at that. Oh, and, just and off the edge of the table. And Tony gets a point. Bring it within three. Six, three. Joseph's only ahead by three. That's what I want to know. You got to get the inside scoop. Seven six. How did come? Come with Simo Seste. Quien tiene siete? A seis. Just like that. And Tony's within one. Oh, you know I take a sip of my, I take a sip right of my beer, Nikki, and Completely everything changes. Clean serve. 
All right, Joseph serving. I'm actually noticing, like, if you watch, like, Joseph is, uh, his, his, the way he's holding his paddle, he's not actually holding the handle, he's actually got, like, three fingers on the actual, like, face of the paddle. Yeah, you know, that reminds me of, uh, Edward Scissorhands, except with ping pong paddles. So what would it be, pull paddle hands or something I, like that? I, I don't know. I hadn't thought that far ahead, Nikki. Keep it on us. I think we said 10 to 8. That's what we thought. Now we're at 11-8. Joseph up by three. Ooh, and he got caught looking just like that. It was right there on the edge. Tony is within two now. This is, I'm telling you, Tony wants the win. The competition is running high. Fierce! Oh, oh and Tony does it. Straight a rebound off Joseph Paddle straight into the brewery again. Irvin, we're going to have a lot of cleaning to do in the brewery after this match. like that it's 13 10 Nikki it's 14 10 I, I feel like I, I feel like Joseph is really focused he's he's definitely showing the most consistent shots he's the one making the least amount of errors um, oh unlucky that was just Tony's made a deep a deep shot to the edge of the table literally hit right on the edge of the table and flew off and Tony you know what I mean it's it was an incredible shot oh Joseph putting two mistakes in a row here. Oh, Ooh, it's very close though. Is he says Dose. Dose. Once. Oh, sorry, Tony, we're taking one away. Oh. Come on, gentlemen, we are. Oh, just like that. Find the net again. Oh, look at this. I think very, Joseph very deep shot by Joseph right at the very back. Uh, Tony off completely by guard. 19-11, just like that, Nikki. Oh, oh, oh hang on. Right there. Wait, 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 wait. What, what does that mean? Like, when it hits the paddle of somebody, does that still you know what, out? I, I, you know what? They're playing by prison rules, Nikki. Just like that. Joseph. Does that Joseph. mean nobody showers? Yeah, seriously. Is, does prison rules mean nobody showers? <laughs> Okay. Oh, I am. Uh, like straight back into it. Can we get an interview with you, Joseph Christina? We need, we need to learn some can we, secrets can we, here. Can we, can we get an interview with Joseph, please? He's on a, like a yeah, four, no, no, a four match winning streak right now. I know. I need to beat him. Yeah, that's what Christina. Is. She's that's awesome, very awesome. determined right now. She wants to bring this home. She wants to bring this home. Joseph, Christina, queremos saber. What what are the tricks? How are you guys doing what you're doing? What like how do you, how do you learn the spins? How just is it practice? Is it just hours and hours and days and months? And you I grew up playing tennis and was ranked. Oh, it's. <laughs> I didn't realize that was even tennis and ping pong were even related, but I guess they are, huh? Back in, yeah. What would you mean they're not even related? It's called table tennis. <laughs> it's called ping pong. It's no, it's called table tennis as well. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a table. It's a net. It's got. It it's green. Okay, you know what? I can play a little pong, but I'm horrible when it comes to uh, what tennis. Yeah, really? Yeah, I am. I shouldn't be letting him win. You're letting him win. Oh, that's what's going on here. She's let she's let him win. Okay. You take it to him, Christina. We believe in you. You take it to him. <laughs> All right, so we've got some serious ping pong action Somebody's here. Somebody's got to dethrone the king right here. Joseph is going to be thrown again. Tony out. Christina's back in. The action is all happening right here. Yeah. 
Christina is actually laying down the rules here because uh, Joseph is like literally just firing service at her, and she's like, "You're not, you know, you're not letting me know you're going." She's seriously, you know, I'm know afraid I've, I've, I've played against you, and it's one of your traits too. You'll get you talking about something about like metaphysics, and then all of a sudden you'll serve, or I'll just, I'll just point, like, you know. Yeah, that's easy for me. Just and then I, I, I'm easily distracted, so, uh, <laughs> but not. Someone who's not destroyed. Oh, oh! Wonderful shot. Sometimes luck just goes your way. Oh, do you see that? Oh, my goodness. So she's Eight got him. Three, just like that. She's got him under pressure. Christina's on a roll here. Yep. Nine Joseph, three. Joseph is like, hitting the table with his paddle. I don't know if oh, it's oh, frustration oh, or just. Oh, uh, okay. he, oh he's taking a timeout. <laughs> little double tap from Christina. Oh! It was 9-3. Who just scored the last point? Nine. I, I, I wasn't watching. I was adjusting camera angles here. We'll have to do an instant replay to find out what happened. We can't afford a, a ref for this. We're, we're doing a little bit of everything, Nikki. 9-6. Oh, I've had many jobs in my life, and this is one of the weirdest ones. Oh, and it, oh. oh Christina's starting to fall apart here. I oh, know. The pressure, the pressure. A lot of pressure, especially when you're live. The Beer Sports Network. Thing. I think we're at nine eight now. Joseph's Joseph on a bit of a run. Really been able to like be Oh, consistent. but he but you know what? He got caught looking. Yeah. Oh man, Christina's pulled ahead now. Yeah. She does a double tap, double tap to let him know she's gonna serve. A lot of backhanded. Oh. Ooh. A lot of backhanded action during this game, and then they brought it to the forehand, and they just went out off the side of the oh, table. Yeah, Go ahead. What's up, man? Twelve ten, Christina leading Joseph. Oh, oh that was just sliced man, above you know, the net. Came down. It was just, was just too much of a good shot for Christina. Twelve to eleven. We're very close right now, right in the middle of this match. Joseph again hitting the net. This is the most pressure I've seen him under during the four, oh, four games I've watched him play. Uh oh. With Christina asking why, but we, we just ask her to focus right now. Okay. I've got it on the board here. 13 13. Oh, good. Even Stevens oh, my here. Goodness. oh, there was a wonderful shot by Christine. Went very deep, and then the response from Joseph was straight off the edge of the table. Just too <laughs> powerful for him. Oh, it's spinning. Oh! Just. Christina is just trying to nail him with the spinning shots. Seriously. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh Christina. The the table. Within a point. Christina Within a point. Absolutely putting the pressure on right now. All right, 16-14, Nikki. This is another close game. Ooh. Skates are in town, so we've got a little bit of a noise from the half pipe. Young man on the ramp right now is a extremely good young skater from Tamarindo. 18-15 now. Ooh, look at that. Sometimes, oh, that you know what? Sometimes luck just goes your way, Nick. It does, man. It does. It was uh, definitely like, I thought that was going to be out. Hit the top of the net. 18-16. 18-16, Nicky. This is a close one. Two fierce Although we'll, it's, it's wondrous to see Joseph on his winning streak, but someone has to take the king off the top of the podium. 19-19. 19-16. Oh, wonderful aggressive shot by Christine oh, there, straight over the top. I don't even know what to say about that. You got 20 to 16. Oh, no. It, it, you know what? It hit, it, it hit his paddle, but it looked like it would have hit the board. Uh, that's my, that would have been my professional call. You know what? We can watch the replay. Yeah, but there's a little bit of a, a dispute going on right now. He went straight for the volley. Uh, the, and, like... He, uh, he went for the volley oh. and went off the side of the actual oh. uh, table. Um, so you can dispute. It would have actually landed on the table, but Joseph went in for the volley. 
and then went off the side of the table. So in my book, that really was Joseph's, mis Joseph's mistake. But again, I'm not a referee. <laughs> I'm not even a, an expert. I, <laughs> I didn't even realize that tennis and ping pong were like sister sports. Uh, it, I mean, it makes sense now. They both have rackets. Well, a racket and a paddle. They're yeah, kind of the same they're, they're, shape. Yeah, uh, One's uh, wood uh, and wait, tiny. Wait, 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 wait. Just, uh, what's happened here? Is that... Do we still have a win? Christina's on the win. Christina, Christina is on oh. the table. Wonderful. Just like that. You're, you know, Christina, you're, you're a fierce competitor. Get in here. What's, your, what's the trick? I mean, like, am I going to get a chance to play the master here? What's, what's, what's happening tonight here? What if I to play the master? I think you're the master. I think oh, I get a chance. You're shaking in my boots. If I have to play the master. No, the master's right there behind the bar. I That'd know, be Oscar. I know. <laughs> I know. Well, good win for you, Christina. This reminds me of the scene out of Lion King. When the, 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 the lion, uh, the, the main king of the jungle was just taken off out of the pride. Mufasa. We've now got the new queen of the table. Christina is confident to win right now. I think we're going to transition from this ping pong fest over to the half pipe where we've got some uh, a local skater here showing us how it's done back corner of the brewery yeah we're a multi-purpose brewery not only do we like uh, make beer we've got uh, ping pong footballine we've got a, a very decent sized uh, half um, like mini ramp four foot mini ramp and all are welcome to come and skate and uh, hang out and you know send it You know, Nikki, that half pipe scares me, I'll, I'll admit it. Oh, did you just see that? That was a wonderful rock and roll combination. Yeah, you know, it's just like when you surf, you fall in the water, you know, maybe you hit your board. You know, just make sure you don't hit your head in the ground. Yeah, no, make yeah. sure you don't hit your head in the fins. But with skating, it's like, you know, you got to know how to fall. Well, you just, it doesn't matter if you know how to fall. You just, eventually you are, like, the law of numbers. You're going to break something. Pretty much the rules with skating. Like, yeah, no, that is, that is. But, like, uh, I don't claim to be much of a skater at all. I can, I can, I can drop in and do a couple of things. But, like, uh, it's most, probably one of the most technical board sports that I know. It really is. And as you can see, just by then, you uh, one minute you're flying like a like an eagle, and the next moment you are literally down on your ass like a moose. <laughs> and uh, just they're, they're, eagles, eagles are I, I know eagles, but moose I've never seen a moose. You ever seen a moose? I've actually I've actually seen a moose. Never they, seen they one. They call him bull. Owl, the owl. Yeah. What? Why? Steven Villarreal, but they call him Owl. They call him Owl. What, does he only come out at night? It did just get dark. It did just <laughs> show know, up. He just turned out to be like, he came out. Maybe he was very it. quiet. He didn't make any noise. Yeah, he's quiet, too. I know. I've, I've met him. He's very nice, nice reserved. Kid. I think we're figuring out why he's called Buho. Yeah. yeah. I was really hoping he could turn his head like 360. That would be a cool party trick. But I doubt that's it. We've got the owl on the on the on the half pipe right now. He is uh, now we've got the other space just like opened up over there, just beside the ramp. We did have all the grain and the kegs there. It's actually now looking like uh, dude, we could do like a vert ramp there. That would be insane. Well, remember, Nikki, we were going to build that climbing wall. Well, we've got we have all the we have got, all the, all the handholds, oh, all the everything. Ton upstairs, man. Yeah. 
I think bouldering would be the the best next best thing. Like create like a very inclined, difficult route for people. Yeah, you know, we were gonna do that, but you know, I kind of before we even get to that, we got all this like hillside here. We want I want to put some bike jumps. Uh, you know, we got some you know some extra dirt we can cut cut from uh, here on the side and just make a few little jumps down the hill and you know if you make it all the way to the bottom then you get a beer. So uh, here at Volcano Brewing Company, Tamarindo, we've got uh, sushi right now. It's the first time we finally got some real food here in the brewery. I yeah. mean, you know, it's nice to have beers, and I guess we got some chips and some beef jerky, but now we're actually serving up some proper meal. You can come here and have dinner. Mm -hmm. So that's a good addition. Sushi what else we got night. going on? Well, we got say we got the, the ping pong tables. We're going to get more. We've got the football lean, half pipe. We've got uh, just the general area. And the whole space is just really quiet up here. You know what I mean? It's not like, although like the town's not much full of hustle and bustle, but um, you know, up here it's just nice and quiet and everyone's just hanging out and, you know, just enjoying the, enjoying the quiet times. Yeah, you know, uh, these $3 pints really make it helpful too. I know right now, uh, most places being closed. Uh, it's really nice to know that for only three bucks, basically the cost of a, you know, Pilsen or Imperial, you get yourself craft beer. I mean, that's almost like that, 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 I mean, with that, that's always the thing, like, you know, with the bigger uh, beer companies, it's always harder to compete, but, like, with what we've got going on here right now, you know, a $3 pint is a really, and I mean a pint, 16 ounces, it's a really good deal, and it's, like, it's all day, every day, all the time. Yeah, up here and also down at the beach at down the surf at the camp. Beach, so, yeah, you know, we've, you know, we've reduced the prices and stuff, so, I mean, it's, like, and the beer is just such good quality right now. Yeah, it really is. Shout out to Oscar. We'll get, a, get a video here of Oscar here behind the bar, our lead brewer. Uh, Oscar Rojas behind the bar serving up on a Saturday night and you know something people don't know about Oscar is that he was on the Costa Rica national ping pong team as a youth so talk about the guy to beat when you come to the brewery maybe not on a Saturday night when you're busy but any other time come to the brewery play ping pong against Oscar and if you win you get a free beer that's the deal I said Oscar also is a multi talent guy he's like he, he, he shreds on the half pipe He's a good surfer as well, so like you know, he was we 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 got him when he was like living in San Jose, and he was uh, literally like living in the whole city life, and uh, we managed to bring him down here, and I think he's absolutely flourishing right now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I gave him that Marco Pacheco. Uh, how, how did you meet cool. Oscar? Beer how festivals. did you find? Oh, Beer that's oh, interesting. Yeah, Once you, Oscar told me he studied physics. Yeah, well, he's a physics major, and yeah. like, uh, he also he's like he's a more talented guy. <laughs> he's a fucking nerd. <laughs> no, you're the nerd. <laughs> We're both nerds. Yeah. I mean, you know what? I think it takes a certain aptitude to be able to spend six hours and go through an entire brew process. Mm -hmm. The guy's making very quality beer. A huge shout out to Oscar Rojas. And, you know, he was the assistant brewer at uh, Kraft Brewing Company in San Jose before he came here to work for us. And uh, we're buddies with the guys at Kraft. Before they sold, uh, we had a chance to hang out multiple times. And Oscar just always wanted to surf, you know? Like, what better place to mix something like surfing and craft beer than right here in Tamarindo and right here at Witches Rock and Volcano Brewing, so. Yeah, I, I joked about being and like being the original brewer. I didn't have, really have any experience whatsoever at <laughs> brewing, but when we moved up to this new site up here at the, the main brewery site, I was getting a little bit out of my, out of my depth and out of my league. And so Oscar was literally the, the right step forward. And uh, I'm very glad we did it because like, since then the beers have, you know, I've improved so much and he's been like a great addition to the team. Yeah, it's, cons yes. it, it's so consistent. Did, did he learn to surf here? No, no. He no, he's surfed, surfed before, surfed but before? definitely coming here and surfing all the time is what it takes to advance. So we've seen him get a lot better at surfing over the over last two years. We just celebrated, Oscar just celebrated his two year anniversary. Yeah, 1st of July. Yeah, so wow. we were, uh, yeah, I kind of. so I fast because it, f it feels like he came here yesterday. I know, just like that. Oh, I feel like I've been with him for years, <laughs> to be honest with you. It feels like more than two years. He really does. You know the thing is about uh, thing about having a brewery and producing beer. Like a lot of people can produce a quality beer. It's the consistency. It's the consistency of production. It's the getting that recipe right every single time. And we talk about it all the time. It isn't just the recipe. You know, it's the cleaning. That is the number one most important thing. You got to make sure everything is 100 percent clean, or that you get any kind of infection in your in you your ask, system. And you ask any brewer, and pretty much all you do is clean. If you're like you're weighing, if, you're, if anyone's weighing around in the brewery, then you're not doing your job right. Because yeah, I mean, you got any spare time, you're cleaning something, something cleaning clean. kegs, cleaning tanks. 
Yeah, getting ready for any type of uh, process where you're going to be exchanging beer from the kettle to the fermenter. You've got to run a CIP. You've got to run a, like a cleaning process to sanitize everything. And it's, all it is is sanitizing, sanitizing. So tomorrow we're going to have a huge sanitizing effort in the brew because there's so many ping pong balls going into the brewery today that we're just going to have to... Tomorrow, like, Irvin's going to have a lot of that. And also want to give a shout out to Irvin Huertas. What an awesome guy Irvin is. In no, fact, Irvin as well. Um, you know, Irvin has uh, also played soccer or football. Yeah, he did. For, as professionally. A youth, professionally. For the Sele in Costa Rica. And uh, when he came to work for us in the brewery, that was like, there is no way that a football player is going to be able to get his hands dirty and get sweaty and get down with it when we're actually brewing beer here. I remember. You, you taught him everything, right? Yeah, I taught him everything. And, like, he is, again, he has turned into a wonderful brewer. And like I uh, you know, he's the guy who's physically doing a lot of the brewing these days and keeping the brewery clean, keeping everything uh, pristine and running correctly and stuff like that. And so we've, such we've a great guy. Such a, yeah, no, we've got such a fantastic team. We really have. Yeah, well, another another great guy, Freedom, been with us for many years. Back here on the weekends, doing sushi uh, here every Saturday and Sunday at Volcano Brewing Company at the brewery. Uh, we open at four o'clock too, so don't come here midday because we're not going to be Hola, here. Freedom. Probably surfing. Oh, and uh, the tide's right. Yeah, the tide's right. And, and here we go. We got we got freedom. Yeah. Freedom. <laughs> hey, how does it feel to be making sushi up here at the brewery? You. Uh, it's very cool here. I I, I miss making me, me, making sushi. And right now I'm making sushi here in Vulcano. That's very cool. You know, we had a birthday party for my son. You remember that? Like uh, back in February, and freedom put like an enti- had an entire surfboard covered with sushi how many pieces was that that was like 500 pieces of sushi or something yeah i think maybe like 600 pieces six oh 600 pieces yeah, i was it's close it's a, it's a lot, i took 100 home myself because uh-huh. we couldn't finish anything and uh, freedom <laughs> freedom sushi is the bomb and the really kids love good. it because it's multicolor yeah it's seriously. colored sushi yeah i mean you know what all the other parents that brought their kids to the party they were like what <laughs> Well, because you asked them to bring out like a board of sushi. It was no, uh, I thought like a like a wooden board. Yeah, no, no but it was actually a, a surfboard. Like, no, I, I I thought like a piece of wood of uh-huh. sushi, but you thought like 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 a long board. It was actually yeah. a surfboard of, of a, a sushi. long surfboard. Yeah, yeah, surfboard. full of sushi. Oh, it's like a sushi. <laughs> Surfing with sushi. Yeah, that's great. Right. That's, that's cool. That's, that's a good signature idea. Signature dishes is to bring out a whole surfboard full. Uh-huh. <laughs> Full of sushi. The we're whole we're really stoked to have you back and to have you up here making sushi because it's a great thing to go with the beers that we've got. Uh, it's only Saturdays and Sundays, so yeah. it's only the weekends. And uh, Saturday and Sunday, 4 until 10, come by the brewery. Mm-hmm. Freedom will hook you up. Yeah. Some Make we've sushi. got a full sushi menu, mm-hmm. not just a couple rolls. I mean, there's two pages. It's basically our sushi menu from Witch's Rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, uh, and it's the most famous one. Yeah. Full right on. Well, we better let you get back to the kitchen. Thanks so much for joining us, Freedom. Thank you. Okay, so, aquí estamos con Bu. Bu es eh, aquí de la zona de Villarreal, ¿verdad? Sí, Villarreal. Se llama Steven, pero le decimos Bu. Eh, contanos, Bu, un poquito cómo empezaste a patinar. Bueno, yo empecé a patinar, recuerdo que yo estaba en la escuela y yo veía que amigos de, del otro grupo patinaban al frente de la escuela cuando ellos salían y yo los veía y me llamó mucho la atención entonces y como son amigos entonces yo me acerqué a ellos y comencé a patinar con ellos y me prestaban la patineta y así luego recuerdo que con otro amigo compramos una patineta entre los dos y así los dos comenzamos a patinar luego él se fue y yo me quedé con la patineta ¿Ves? y así fue que comenzamos a patinar ya lo que es rampas y así yo recuerdo que tenía como un año de estar patinando lo que es flat le decimos nosotros street y conocí el skatepark de Tamarindo, que es el bowl, y me gustó mucho más el bowl. Sí, entonces de ahí comencé, le tomé mucha pasión, y, y ya, ya tengo 10 años de patinar. 10 años de patinar, o sea, es una trayectoria increíble. Eh, ¿Alguna vez surfeaste? Sí, claro, de hecho aprendí primero a surfear que a patinar. Sí, por un primo, él me enseñó a, a surfear, y fue ahí como también me metí en lo que es deportes extremos y así. Buenísimo, Hugo. Uh, y contanos, a ver, como un par de tips de, si alguien, si le tuvieras que dar un par de tips a alguien que quiere empezar a patinar, ¿qué le dirías? Pues que con mucha confianza y que aprenda desde lo más básico, como siempre, y con ayuda de alguien que, que sea bueno, digamos, que ya sepa. Sí, mucha perseverancia, me imagino. Mucha perseverancia, la verdad. 
está el skate es un deporte que te enseña mucho a, a que de las caídas siempre hay que levantarse, que es, es necesario estar practicando muchas veces el mismo truco hasta lograrle lo que uno quiere, digamos, que es el truco en sí. Buenísimo, Hugo, gracias, muchísimas gracias por habernos acompañado, nos encantó verlo aquí en el Hub, increíble, la verdad, nosotros no podemos hacer ni la mitad de lo que hizo hoy, eh, 